Hello everyone and welcome to Year 7 of Canter King Solomon High School. My name is Mr Joseph and I'm part of the Kahila department and I'm, I'm working on this video with Mrs Spurling. Hello. I just want to say we're making these videos to introduce you to a bit about what the Kahila department is, a bit about what KS is and a bit about what Judaism is. So I look forward to sharing some amazing thoughts on, Ju on Judaism with you guys. Question for you Mr Joseph, why do boys wear a kippah? That's a really, really good question. Why do boys wear kippahs? So I wear different coloured kippahs because I like different colours and I like to be creative. There's no one set colour. But the whole idea is this represents re respecting God. The idea that God is watching over us. The, the idea that we have to behave in a respectful manner at all times. And, it, and some people might ask, what if I don't believe in God? Do I need to wear this? And the question, amazing idea I heard is that the kippah represents respecting someone higher than you in general respecting teachers, respecting parents, respecting fellow colleagues in your school. And this is what it's really about, respect and behaving appropriately. Thank you very much. So, Mr. Joseph, could you tell me, what is kosher? Again, what a fantastic question, Mrs. Burley. Kosher are the Jewish laws associated with food, what we can and can't eat. In your welcome packs, it will discuss in detail what kosher is, so have a check out in your welcome packs for the school. This school is a kosher school, meaning that all the food that's served at lunch and break is kosher. If you want to bring in your own food for lunch, please keep it vegetarian, meaning no meat or shellfish. And lastly, on your first day, you'll receive a kosher nosh guide. In this guide, it will tell you what snacks, chocolates and sweets you can eat. So, so when you're going to the shops, you'll know what to buy. It's very easy to use. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. So, Mr. Joseph, could you tell me, when are the Jewish holidays and how do they affect us having time off for school? Again, an amazing question, Mrs. Burley. So, the Jewish festivals and celebrations are planted throughout the year of the calendar. But I want to start with something that happens weekly. Every week, the Jews celebrate the Sabbath, the day of rest for the Jewish people, which happens from Friday night to Saturday night. How will this affect you? So, in the winter months, starting from October, you'll be leaving school early on a Friday. Next, what are the first festivals that are happening in our school? What is that going to affect you the quickest? So we have Rosh Hashanah, the New Year of the Jewish people, and Yom Kippur, the Day of Repentance. Yom Kippur is happening on, the, happening on Monday the 28th of September, so you'll not be coming into school on that day. What, what about the other festivals? So just generally throughout the year, Purim and Hanukkah, really fun festivals. You will be getting involved in so many fun activities and we look forward to celebrating the rest of the festivals with you. So, Mr Joseph, what is the Kahila Lounge and what is it used for? Another fantastic question, Mrs Burley. So, the Kahila, what does Kahila mean? Kahila means community. And that's what our department is responsible for, making you feel part of the community. As you can see in this room, this room is, is where the Kahila department is located. And as you can see, there's lots of different structures the kids have built. We have a table tennis a table that you can come on up up in lunchtime to come and play on and get involved in. We also have the buddy system. What is the buddy system? Every year seven student is entitled to have someone from a sixth form act as a friend, someone to show you around someone to get you used to the school. And finally, the Kahila department is here to make you feel welcome. We are here to support you. On the first day of school, you'll meet myself, Mrs. Sperling, and Miss Schutz, the head of the department, and we look forward to meeting you. Thank you very much.